Hello, hello, welcome back to MTD CNC. I'm with my buddy Ryan today at Zero Hour Parts in front of this incredible, beautiful blue Matsura machine. Ryan has only been running this machine for six months, so I thought it might be cool to let him convey to you his message about how he feels about this machine, for better or worse. We're about to find out together because this is unscripted, like always. Ryan, thank you so much. I'm excited to hear how you feel about Matsura and your first six months running it. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's been a massive game changer for me, really. I mean, you know, the freedom to be able to just load this thing up and, you know, know that if something does happen to a tool or, you know, the tool goes away, it'll replace it with another one. There's just, there's a million endless reasons why it's just, it's awesome. It's, it's and before you hopped on this machine, you were kind of running around like a chicken with your head cut off, programming yeah. a bunch of different three-axis machines, I believe. So when you came here, there was actually a concern that you were going to be bored with not having <laughs> enough to do based on pallet changes and yeah. tools all being set up and sitting here and programming and loading the, the products, right? Oh, it's great, though. I mean, you know, having, even just having it in my mind that those tools are there, I, you know, I know the feeds and speeds to use on them. It's just kind of a plug and play. There's no trial, like, is this tool gonna work this way? You know, it just, it just works, it's there. And it repeats, like, phenomenally. With that massive tool crib, how much time a day do you spend switching out tools? It, it's rare at this point. I mean, there's, I might need to add a tool once a month, maybe, at this point, it's not, I don't even have to mess with tools at all, really. That's doesn't, amazing. Doesn't happen. And to go along with your stress from before, Ryan, <laughs> did that some parts have to do with the precision of the parts coming off the machine? Do you have the confidence now that when you set something up for the weekend here, you're going to come back to good parts? Uh, yeah, I'm very confident. It's, you know, obviously you got to go through and check everything when you come back, but, you know, it's, it, it, it repeats. Well, usually what you get on your first try, if you got to make a little adjustment, you make it. It's gonna, it's gonna carry it. That's just, it's just what it does. Well, I've been in the machine shops where there's more than one Matt Sura. So how long before Dan buys you your next Matt Sura <laughs> so you can run around running multiple <laughs> machines? I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to Dan about that yeah, a little bit yeah. later. Well, Ryan, I know it's not easy to hop on camera. You, my friend, are amazing. Guys, this is Ryan. This is Zero Hour Parts. Look them up, zerohourparts.com. This is also Matt Sir, which you may notice from all the blue behind me. Thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.